units in 110 mile per hour category two. Pressure is down to 972 millibars, moving northwest at 12, which is in that direction, but it is going to start turning left. Hi guys. West. You can almost assume that's going to be the case. We don't want to make it, we don't want it making a left turn, but. In the clouds. Oftentimes <clears throat> it gives you a clue of where the hurricane is going next, and that is going to be moving toward the Bahamas. And there it is, about 450 to 500 miles out. We're getting some serious clouds now moving through, but the weather today and for most of tomorrow should be okay. But then getting worse, and the core of Hurricane Dorian by then, a major hurricane very likely, moving through parts of the northern Bahamas. So here we go. There's where it is right now. There's that unfortunate right. sort of leftward turn that we were all anticipating. We knew it was coming, but now we're actually starting to see it go more toward the west all right, all right. rather than we're there. north. That upper level low, which has really been steering it. Right. For a large part Somebody's worried. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. How you doing? I'm going to start boarding up today. Oh, boy. I got all the gas. Yeah. What is I got? Boy. No. Oh, here's the cone of death. Westward turn underway over the weekend, increasing in strength all along the way. Now the center will likely be somewhere inside of this cone with the impacts spreading farther and farther away from that center of circulation as we unfortunately go toward the Bahamas and Florida. And then very likely early next week, this storm is gonna turn north. It's gonna even slow down more and then begin to turn toward the north. Now, if that turn were to take place offshore, that's what that we want. Great. That would limit a lot of the most severe. That's impacts. what we want, and I but think that's what's going to happen. That takes They're pushing it. Normally, land. it's they have a, a the little stream. And of course, the flooding rain and continue that onshore flooding from the Atlantic for many days, not just in one area or one region of Florida, but all up and down the coast and into the southeast U.S. as well. Leon, it's going to be a long few days ahead. Yeah, that's right. Sure. Yeah, so. Like I said, I'm going to start boarding up. I'm going to board up my mom's house. I'm going to touch Tears Foot. Well, you didn't like that. You, oh, but I want to touch you. But I want to touch you. I want to touch you. I'm stop bothering you. I love you, buddy. All right, guys. We're going into preparations. Um, it's too early to know what's going on, but it's going to be a massive storm. And the way I see it, with other storms, even if it's category five, hitting, let's say, Florida, the loss of life, yes, you might have five, 10 deaths, but compared to the population, that's not bad odds. I mean, I see it that way. Um, worst part is the electricity and the infrastructure. That collapses, uh, so you're without power for two or three weeks. That's the worst part. The actual living through it, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it. It's not, we don't have the flood zone where it's going to the water's going to rise to 32 feet um so it's just a matter of wearing it going through it i'll be live streaming during the hurricane you guys know me for, for what everybody for pretty much everybody knows me uh from two years ago i was live streaming the hurricane almost got hit by a tree that cracked in the backyard so i'll be doing the same thing again I'll be live streaming as much as possible during it. Hopefully it's a day hurricane. That makes things a lot better because if something happens, you can see. I don't like nighttime hurricanes because can't see what happens, can't see anything. Um, <clears throat> wishing everybody a great, I don't even know what day it is. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, this update, I'm gonna be updating now on Loki and Tears channel every day. 
just so everybody's aware of what's going on and that we're okay. All right. Um, somebody's not that active. He's been up since, I've been up since eight o'clock in the morning. I finally got the gas this morning at like eight o'clock. Didn't make a line. Gas station had gas. I filled up, what, eight five gallon containers. I think I put like $150 worth of gas. So, he's falling asleep while I talk. Am I that boring, buddy? Am I that boring? Am I that boring? I love you. I love you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to protect you and your little fuzzy feet. And your little fuzzy feet. I get your little paw. Okay, I'll leave you alone. <clears throat> All right, guys. Everybody have a great day. I'll post once the before video of the house and the after video of the house. All right, guys. Have a good one. Keep us in our keep keep us in your prayers and hopefully everything works out for us. I think it will. It should. It will. Be confident. Somebody's going to sleep. All right, guys.